In this repair video, we're going to be working on the first 5090 melted connector. First one of its kind. Look at this. Look at this. Just kidding. I missed April Fool's Day, so I thought better late than never. Today is April 7th, so let's call it April 7th Fool's Day. This is a 4090. And, and by the way, excuse the hair, the 80s hair. Today I came using my electric scooter and I had the helmet on, so my hair is wavy, just in case. I know how much you love my hair. I just had to let you know, very beneficial for this video. Okay, so we are still getting 4090s in the shop every single day, every single day. We do at least two to three cards a day. Sometimes we have five cards a day, sometimes seven cards a day, sometimes two cards a day, but at least two cards a day for melted connectors. 4090s. No 5090s yet. I did not get any. Not for melted connectors and not for damage of any type. So let's stick with the 4090. We're going to replace the connector. That's what I have on my bench right now. I know we've done this like 6 million times on the channel, but let's make it 6 million and one. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turnaround. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. We're gonna start by preheating the board using hot air. I do have a preheater, but why waste 20 minutes preheating the board when we can do it in one minute using hot air? Preheater is one of the tools that we do not use. We got it a long time ago, back in 2014. I used it back then. It was exciting. Wow, look at me, I have a preheater. And then I stopped using it as soon as I discovered that we do not need it. It's one of those tools that you do not need. Unless, of course, you are a scientist and you just have to have one because it sounds cool, it looks cool, and you get to say that I have a preheater. A customer, just a minute. Hey, what's up, man? Sorry to interrupt, bro. That's all right. Uh, can I bring my PC in for uh, which one? Laptop or desktop? It's a PC desktop. Uh, what's wrong with it? Uh, so I built it like four or five years ago. Yes. Uh, never been like fully stable you know like running an xmp or anything like that so okay i think like over time i don't know if it's a cpu it's an intel runs okay for a little bit sometimes a taskbar locks up randomly and then sometimes it'll just blue screen and then okay. sometimes it'll just hard crash and then on top of that i have like a weird mic problem where it buzzes occasionally okay Actually, pretty pretty frequently so it just goes bzz, 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 constantly so we cannot fix every problem on that computer <laughs> a microphone problem we have to focus on a microphone problem microphone problem is usually the microphone itself or the motherboard itself. There's no, there's no software that will make the microphone not work properly. Did yeah. you try another microphone? Yeah, yeah. So uh, one thing you can do is you can have a USB microphone. Did you try that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The USB uh, same microphone. thing? Yeah, same exact. Now, as far as the crashing goes, it could be a lot of things. Hello, is Hello. Northridge Fix? Yeah, Northridge Fix without the it. Oh, my Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you guys do walk-ins? Uh, yeah, yeah. 
and they said they don't do battery replacements. So uh, it turns on, my cat knocked it over, uh -huh. and now it's, the batteries are making weird noises, the keys fell out. I, I do a lot of work on that laptop, so it would be preferable. Okay. Uh, I'm willing to pay the expedited. The expedited, yeah, the expedited will guarantee yeah, that we have it done within, $5. yeah. Total will be 355. Okay, so you have $300 uh, bills. Okay, let's see. One, two, and this one is three. Make sure you did not print them in your basement. Yeah, right? No worries. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so the term states that we are taking this as is. Uh, anytime we have an expanded battery, there's a chance that something may go wrong. We have it as working now. Maybe after we open it, it stops working for whatever reason. That's part of the risk. Okay, so two customers in one go. Two customers in one go. One, then the other. A guy came in with a desktop. He said, random crashing, blue screen. It's been okay for the past four or five years. His microphone is buzzing. 101 issues. I told them you need to figure it out before you come here because it could be a lot of things. It could be RAM, it could be your video card, it could be your hard drive, and the buzzing microphone. Did you try another microphone? He said yes. Did you try a USB microphone? He said yes. All of them are buzzing. And it could be related to Windows 11, that's what he thinks. And it's gonna be a waste of time trying to troubleshoot and figure out why all that is happening. So I told him, try to replace the RAM, see if that helps fix the crashing. Then you can try another video card. Then you can try downgrading to Windows 10. When all else fails, you can come back. That's how you avoid wasting time. But you're a computer repair shop. Yes, but we do not like rabbit holes. Aren't you gonna lose a customer? It's better to lose a customer than to waste your whole day trying to figure out what's going on with that system. Work smart and not hard. So after we preheated the board, I had to let go. Now we have to preheat again. Then we're going to use low melt solder, apply it on the joints. Because as you know, that's a 15, 12 to 15 layer board. I do not know how many layers exactly about 12 to 15 layer board and it takes a lot of heat to desolder solder from the holes. A lot of thermal mass. Because as you know, solder will only liquefy when the board itself reaches the melting temperature of solder. So it doesn't matter how much heat we are applying, the board is absorbing the heat and it's spreading the heat all over the board. Until that specific spot reaches the melting temperature of solder, that's when solder will melt. So it takes an extreme amount of heat to desolder the connector. What we do is we use low melt solder to mix it with unleaded. and the mixture will result in a lower melting point. That way we can desolder the connector safely. We do not have to bombard the board with heat. I always talk about the magic of using low melt solder. Low melt solder if you're a hobbyist or in the same type of business you can purchase low melt solder directly off our site along with everything that we use on the bench here for the most part including this original inventec amtec flux microscope soldering station hot air station thermal camera power supply tweezers braid wick articulating arm for the microscope one-stop shop just log in to northwishfix.com, click on shop, add to car, check out, pay. And we almost always ship out same day. Mm -hmm. 
So a little bit of Lumel solder goes a long way. And that connector is out. The magic of low melt solder. Now we're gonna use the Northridge Fix solder sucker, which we currently have out of stock. We have a new batch coming in very soon, but I do not have an exact ETA. Now, one thing I forgot to do was put the anti-glare light on. I know we had a lot of glare, a lot of reflections, but I was too occupied. My two hands were occupied and I just continued. But let's see the difference between the anti-glare light and the ring light. Look at this. It's like you are looking at a whole different world. Tell me the anti-glare light is not magic. I'm using the Northridge Fix anti-glare light and look at the difference between the ring light and the anti-glare light, day and night. Look at the soldering on those joints and tell me that's not better than factory. There's a reason why big names and customers mail their stuff over here. Because how can you get anything better than this? I'm better than machines, right? Who does this guy think he is? Okay. We are done. We are done. Let's flip the board, make sure solder made its way all the way to the pins. And look at this. Look at this. Look at the connection on those pins. Awesome. All right. That's it for this 5090. I mean 4090. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.